Good morning, third grade. Today, we're going to be learning about bean seed germination. Our learning objective for today is students will be able to examine the process of bean seed germination, observing safe practices and recording lab results in their science notebook. Okay, now I have a riddle for you. I am very little. I can be different colors. I grow tall. I make plants. What am I? Can someone tell me what am I? Okay, yes. Yes, a seed, correct? Thank you. Um, now, what do you think will happen if you take the pinto bean, a pinto bean or lima bean and place it in a moist paper towel near a window. What do you think will happen if I place this pinto bean in a moist paper towel and place it in the window? What do you think will happen to my, to my pinto bean? Or what, what do you think will happen if I place my uh, pinto bean into a moist uh, paper towel and place it in a closet. What is the difference? What do you think will happen with the pinto bean in both scenarios? Okay, uh, please think of that and I'll be calling on tables so you can be sharing your ideas with the group and uh, I'll call on tables and you, you can tell me what uh, your group came up with. Okay, now that y'all, your tables came up with the answer and you told me what you think will happen to the bean in both scenarios, now we're going to do a table. I'm going to give uh, a pin to bean to each one of you. You're going to observe it and you're going to draw on the table. Okay, you're, uh, this is going to be an activity where you need to draw. Okay, I'm going to draw the table in the board and you're going to create uh, the same table in your science notebook. Okay, I'll be calling on tables as well. I'll need, uh, I'll need one person from each table to go to get the notebooks for everyone in your table. Okay, y'all can go. Uh, I'll be, in the meantime, I'll be doing uh, the chart that we need for this. Please uh, draw the T chart that we that I have in here. This is gonna be our activity uh, sheet one. Okay. On one side, we're gonna draw your dry bean seed. Now that you have your your bean seed, I pass them out. Uh, please draw how it looks. Okay, in this side. And then, please think what will happen to the bean seed if we soak them in water overnight. What do you think will happen to your pinto bean if we put it in water overnight? Okay, please think of that. You can share your answers with the table. And as you know, I'll, I'll be calling up on tables. If, and so you can come up with an answer together, okay? When you're writing your notebook, please take in consideration what we talk about. This is how your page will look like. You're going to put the, the title, okay? The activity sheet one. Then remember that you need to draw to write from margin to margin. Please put your name and the date on the right, the left side of the paper, okay? And uh, this is how you're going to write from this side, from the part where it has holes, to the other side, okay? I don't want it to look like this or like that, okay? Please, I'll, I'll leave my example on the board so you can come up and if you need any help, you can get that, okay? Thank you. you. Thank you for all those who draw the teacher already and made your drawing. Uh, I'll be passing out glue uh, to each one of your tables, okay? Or can I get a volunteer? to pass the glue. Okay, thank you. Uh, so every table and every person in your table has a glue, correct? Okay, if you need one, please grab it. I have the box in here. You can come and grab the glue. With a partner, so choose a person from your table who you're gonna work with 
you're gonna do an experiment with uh, the pinto bean. Okay, for this, we're gonna use the pre-soaked bean seeds that already passed out for you, okay? I'm gonna model what you need to be doing. Uh, I placed the materials in your table, so you already have the paper towels. Uh, the paper towels, remember, they're moist, and uh, it, each one of you have the pre-soaked bean, bean seed, and you should have the Ziploc bag, okay? We're gonna put the paper towel, remember that it is uh, moist. We're gonna put it in the Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put the bean seed inside. Well, I can do that before. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the pinto bean inside. Then I'm going to close it and I'm going to put the, the paper towel with the bin seat inside into the Ziploc bag, bag, okay? And I'm going to put the Ziploc bag in the Please window. remember that you're going to record your observations and results in your science notebook. Okay, please take that in consideration when, when you're doing the, this experiment and with every observation that you make. Now that okay. I'm finished, I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'm gonna show you how to properly wash your hands. Okay, so I'm gonna take the soap, I'm gonna put it in my hand and I'm gonna take the soap all around my hands And I'm gonna rinse it out. Okay. And I have the paper towels in the side so you can uh, clean your hands after you wash them. I'm gonna be calling on tables uh, so you can come and wash your hands. Table one, then table two, table three, and table four. Okay, I want one student at now a time. that we place all of our Ziploc bags in the window and we made our observations. I have a question for you, all of you. What do you expect will happen or what do you expect will happen to your bean seeds if, they're, if we leave them in the window? And remember that the paper towel is wet. What do you think will happen? Thank you. Okay, uh, now, how do we call the process of seed sprouting and beginning to grow? How do, how do we call that process? What is the name of the process? Does anyone know? Yes, uh, it is germination. That is the process that we're doing that with the Ziploc bags, right? It is the germination. And it, this is how uh, the seeds begin uh, to grow. Thank you. Uh, I have been walking around, checking on your science notebooks. I like that you use my example of how you need to be writing in your notebooks. Thank you for all, the, all of those who follow my rules. Uh, now I wrote the germination process in the board. So if you wanna take a look at that, you can uh, copy it in your notebook uh, for your reference. And now I'm going to explain to you something about the plants, okay? What do you think plants need to survive and live? Sun, water, yes. Food, thank you. Okay, yes, uh, they do need food, water, and sun to survive, right? And I'm going to talk to you about uh, forests photosynthesis. Does anyone know what photosynthesis is? Okay, thank you. Those, those answers are correct about photosynthesis, thank you. Uh, but now, do you know that seeds don't actually need sunlight when they're starting to grow? Mm -hmm. That's impressive, I know. Uh, at first, seeds 
leave off the store food in their cutile cutile you may take care of your seating like we, like we care for ourselves okay we must check on our seeds daily and provide water for them do you all know that yes they do need water and they do need food to survive in this case water right we need to take care of your seeds for them to grow okay now that i told you uh about the seeds and how they do not need um the sunlight but they do need water right um i we talk and you told me your answers about photosynthesis but now i'm going to actually tell you what photosynthesis is photosynthesis is the process in which green plants use sunlight to make their own food okay now you're gonna work with your table these are the three questions that i, ha I have for you please copy them in your science journals and please share your answers with your group and come up with the best answer um, all together okay and at the end we're gonna share our answers with the class and we're gonna come up with a good a good answer to each one of this okay the first one is why would seeds be able to grow in the dark we uh, I already told you right they don't need sunlight when they're beginning to grow but why okay the second uh, the second one how do scientists refer to seed plants does anyone know if you know please um share with your group when it is time uh number three what do we what, what do we mean by saying that green plants make their own food how i already told you what photosynthesis is please use that definition um and i'll be calling on tables so you can tell me what uh your group came up with for each one of these questions okay, now that we have uh 10 minutes left our class we're gonna draw our observations and you're gonna write as well so you're gonna make a drawing and you're gonna draw uh, you're gonna write about what you see today in your experiment okay i'm gonna be checking on that please uh, do it in your notebooks and we're gonna be doing this for the next seven to ten days depending on how we see our our pinto beans okay and this is for or for your grade please uh make the drawing and please make um your notes about what you see your observations on the side um and uh, when you finish please bring me your notebooks to my desk so i can be checking them i'll give you a grade for those and I'll, we'll be lining up to go to our next class. Okay, thank you.